the Nuggets, I'm paying extreme attention to Austin Reed as the inbounder. Reeves holding, James comes out of the pack. James on the drive, goes inside, stop, shot block, gets it back. It's over, it's over. Denver makes history, the Nuggets are going to the NBA Finals. Lil Red, Lil Red, he go big, Lil Legs. Skinny kid with plenty. Lakers lose. Lakers get swept by the Denver Nuggets. Shout out the Denver Nuggets. Before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Got a lot to talk about in this video. First, I want to talk about a lot of fans are discrediting the Denver Nuggets because the Nuggets win. And I see a lot of people on Twitter talking about, wow, the Nuggets, uh, the Nuggets, that was goaltending, by the way. This is goaltending, by the way. It wouldn't, it's goaltending. They called AD a goaltend the last game. It's literally goaltending. But anyways. There's people on Twitter that are like, wow, Nuggets don't get respect. The Lakers got swept and they're still talking about the Lakers. And they're not talking about the Nuggets. They're talking about LeBron. But the Nuggets win the series. You know what fans are talking about? The Warriors would have beat the Nuggets. Warriors would have done more than this. Warriors are better than the Lakers. The refs just cheated. It's scripted. Y'all are disrespecting the Nuggets more than anybody else. It's just something about Warriors fans. They disrespect every other team besides, like, it's disrespectful, man. Y'all delusional. But anyways, let's get into this damn reaction, man. Watch this game live. Very sad game. Sad day. Lakers always want to do this to me. Oh! <laughs> LeBron throws it in. I need my damn volume up, I'm not gonna lie. This volume's too quiet for me. LeBron James throws in the lob. <laughs> oh man, LeBron did everything he could the first half. Pump fake, fading, mini. Yes sir, rattle in. D-Lo getting some in his baseline drive out. Hand down. Burn down. LeBron. Jokic lobbed him. I respect the Denver Nuggets. I really like the way they play, bro. Jokic post up. They help. KC3. What I say? I'm not even going to repeat it. If you guys been watching reactions for the series, literally said, stop leaving Caldwell on the help right there. They don't listen. Damn, boy, that was the first call of the game they gave us. AD was getting slapped. It's crazy. Hand down. Man down. LeBron. Jamal, turn around, pivot. Yeah. Jamal Murray is critically underrated, bro. LeBron James snakes in and out step back bitty did his nostril huh honestly D'Lo should have finished the game bro look at that floater slips through the defense and down that's not even a hand down bro how does he this man one of the best shooters in the NBA Michael Porter literally six foot ten sniper can't do anything else besides shoot the damn ball that man Literally the definition of in his nostril. Michael Porter tries again. Got that one. That's his first field goal. Jamal on Tristan Thompson. That's good defense. Shout out Tristan Thompson giving the Lakers some really good minutes. Damn, D'Lo was wide open. Breeze, pump, fake, fly by. Damn, boy, you, get, you better re-sign this man immediately. Look at Tristan, switched on to him, help comes, rotation, give it back to him, dunk it, TT, <laughs> pump fake, fly by LeBron all the way, lay, all the momentum going our way, Jamal, back, Jokic, what? How is he consistent? I, I remember the first game I was like, that was the luckiest shot I've ever seen, but he keeps doing it. And you can't block it. 
Already you can't. It's the unblockable the shot. shot. He's at the free throw line extended. It just steps yeah. back to the three. Puts that ball behind his head like a catapult and throws it up. What? Look at this. TT in the post against Jokic. Big boy Jokic hook over him. Tristan Thompson trying to bring that old school game back. Pick and roll. Braun right hand over Jokic. That pick and roll with LeBron and Tristan Thompson. Murray entry. Nobody's there. Reeves out. Schroeder and down. Burn down. Dennis. Murray floater over Dennis. Braun all the way out. Reeves one more corner three. Dennis Schroeder. Braun out. Schroeder one more. Rui thought about it. Two step the reverse. He's got that reverse in his bag. Braun pick and roll spin move. Woo! Dribble handoff Murray. Murray turned in the corner over Anthony Davis. Uh, I don't know how he got that over. KCP out the Gordon. Ugh. Ugh. Aaron Gordon in the corner. This shot looks like it's painful. But it goes in. That's good. Goes in. Gordon is Rui driving. Pull it back. Dennis Nostril. Let's go, Rui. Jamal. Pick and roll. Snakes in and out. Pull up. Benny. Bro. I'm not going to lie. This pick and roll with Jamal and Jokic, they have some type of chemistry. See how close they get on these. This wasn't even a good Jokic screen. Like, Jokic's been setting better screens than this. Bro, they literally don't let you get... Look at this. See how he rolls and cuts him off? And then he snakes in and out. They are so good in this two-man game. They might be the best tandem in the league in the pick and roll. And you guys know I love the pick and roll. Look at that. Pass to the corner. Damn. Jokic's double team falling away. Look. Are you kidding me? Huh? We got more luck from the Jokic. This man just got some type of luck. I don't know what it is. This man threw it up and Gordon was right there. LeBron is complaining. LeBron, you were complaining? But that's your rotation. <laughs> I love when LeBron does that. I'm not going to lie. That is hilarious. When, <laughs> when it's LeBron's rotation... <laughs> And he complains against Mads. Davis got to help off Gordon in the dunker spot. We've been letting him roam free safety. He got a couple three seconds called this game. Le he's literally pointing to LeBron. You got Gordon. LeBron knows it. He literally knows it's Gordon. Schroeder's supposed to rotate to Michael Porter, Reeves here, and so on and so forth. This man just gets back door. <laughs> what are you mad at, LeBron? <laughs> Who's he looking at? I just want to know who's LeBron looking at. Who's he looking at? Reeves? <laughs> LeBron, who are who are you mad at on that play, bro? I don't get it. Jokic turn around, huh? How does he make that? At one foot turnaround. AR pick and roll floater. Austin Reeves so good in that floater. I love it, man. He's the future. Should have trying to draw a foul. Making it a little too obvious. They don't call anything I like that. Could have been a blocking foul, to be honest. Bro, AD, bro. You pissed me off this game, bro. First off, we'll go back to this play. That low key looked like a blocking fail. I'm not gonna lie, they didn't call it. I'm cool with it. AD losing the damn ball. Like, this is a wide open layup. There's nobody in front of you in the rim. He just, like, watch how, like, you can make this, but watch how he, like, lands. Just, like, bro, you don't have to flop. Go up strong. You are 6'11. Tristan Thompson's going up strong. Why can't you go up strong? It's not gonna work, man. And this is what kills us. Transition. 
Anthony Davis just stays on the floor, and then Jokic pushes the ball up like this. And then Aaron Gordon is in position for the offensive rebound. That's what happened here. Somebody again. Transition. Who fell? Dennis Schroeder just out of bounds. LeBron not getting back. Oh! Blocked by AD. Yeah. This is an amazing play. Good redemption by AD. Dribble hand off Porter. Bro. Anthony Davis, there's no reason. There's no reason at all. Literally no reason to not just go contest it. Besides, you just want to get a rebound and not have to put some effort in. I understand. He's not the best shooter. That's what we want. You did see Rui come, you know, kind of try to scare him. But when you see this right here, you run. I mean, you do see Porter leaking out and, you know, you're like, damn, he's got positioning. But he doesn't even crash the board hard. Come on, bro. We're up by 10, but fight, bro. We are in an elimination game. Anthony Davis, I'm actually very disappointed in your performance tonight. Porter 3. Gordon is there again, bro. Look at Eric Gordon fighting. And they get an L1. Aaron Gordon is just... He's what Vando could be. Honestly, Vando, I can see him being... Oh, beyond the back. Pull up, Mitty. And Thomas Bryan, shut your ass up, bro. So damn tired of Thomas Bryant. I really liked you on the Lakers, bro. I was like a huge fan of you. And you requested a trade. Like, you have the right to do that. Even though you weren't even playing good. You were mad because we stopped giving you minutes because you stopped playing defense. You weren't playing good no more. You were great offensively, but on the defense, and you gave us nothing. You were getting out, rebar out rebounded. You're getting out muscled. And then you request a trade because you want a bigger role. And you go to a team you haven't played a single minute on. And now you just want to act like the cheer leader and hate on your former teammates look at him turning around shaking his head come on give him his respect porter dribble handoff hey i just said he could only shoot but that was a good lay go back door gotta block that ad block that LeBron, bully mode, LeBron, AD, like, bro, why are you finishing like that, Anthony Davis? Watch how he's finishing, he does not have to, like, look, why are you doing all this? Just go up strong, you are a big man, put Anthony Davis back to the four, to be honest, I've seen enough, this man's a sniper, Porter Jr. Yes, sir, bro, bully your way, bro. For all the people and the announcers saying like, oh, why is LeBron not being aggressive second half? Bro, he played all day. He played the whole, he played the whole game at 38. Come on now. Gordon? Bro. I'm done with you, AD. Man, I didn't even realize this is going to turn into an AD bashing video. Because I remember during the game, I was getting mad at him. But now that I'm watching it over, like, damn, Davis. Bro, there's no reason not to contest it. Literally, not, why are you standing there? Get up there, bro. You're just giving him confidence. That man, Bruce Brown, getting that type of layup. Brown got the switch attack. Yes, sir. He wants that foul, but they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna give it to Jokic like that. He was in foul trouble. Look at that pass between T down one. Yeah. Tristan Thompson, get him off you. Dribble handoff for Porter. Black by Tristan Thompson. I was going to say he ain't doing that again. And then we put D'Lo in, snakes in and out midi. D'Lo played good this game. We should have gave him... We should have gave him minutes over Dennis at the end, to be honest, bro. To be honest, D'Lo should have finished this game for some shooting. Because we, we had a stretch there and we just couldn't make a three. As I say that, Dennis goes in and makes a layup. Jamal Murray pull up floater. Yes, sir. Pick and roll. AD and down. And down. There's that mid range. He was struggling all damn game. Damn. Damn. Blocked by AD. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Big man Nicola. I, 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 to be honest, I thought he was tired at this point because he was starting to miss. He looked gas playing the whole game, but bro, he just 
to shoot. Damn, bro, he's strong. Ooh, look at the little. Ugh. Shimmy got LeBron leaning. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a flop. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like it could have been a charge, but LeBron definitely he literally pushed off for to, for the flop. But it's definitely yeah, he was in position. But the sad part is the refs probably wouldn't have called that if he didn't flop. He did try to stop, but. He, he was at, I don't know. He was, LeBron definitely had position, but he did fall on purpose. Look at that pass. Floater, push shot for AD. That is a foul. That, this should have been a damn flagrant. I'm not going to lie. Well, Jokic, why are you mad after this? I understand the first one you could be mad at. The first one, he flopped. But this one, you saw in his face when they, they showed the replay. This man was angry and just... Hit him with the damn. Look at that. Oh my god. What are you mad? At? <laughs> I don't get what he was mad at on that one, bro. Oh yeah, Braun. And here we go, AD. Go up strong. This is where I was happy. Come on, AD. Tie it up. Going up strong. The whole damn season. For all the people that have been watching the regular season, probably only like 2% of you guys, because you guys are here just, you guys are just here watching this video to troll Lakers fans. Let's be honest. Half you guys don't even care about this. You just care that the Lakers are, Lakers are losing. You don't even care that the Nuggets win. Like I said, Nuggets fans, if there's any real ones watching, just let you know, everybody's disrespecting your team, bro. I'm the only one really showing respect to your team. Everybody else just showing the Lakers. They don't actually care that Denver won. They just happy the Lakers lost. But anyways, damn, I'm losing my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Anthony Davis had a problem with this the whole damn season. On these closeouts, he just fouls people. Like, jumping. He just have no control in the air. We lost a couple games because he did that, bro. Murray, three clutch free throws. Nuggets back hey, Anthony Davis struggle. Yeah, that's a foul. Thought he was over at this point, but Braun, damn, bro. First, at first, I thought it was just luck. Well, I'm not gonna lie, the shot might be just normal in his package and his shooting. Might be part of his jump shot animations. This point, like, what the hell is this? Look how he's shooting. Shooting off one leg with the ball behind his head. He's just throwing a. Falling away, puts it up. Bang! Nikola Jokic knocks it down. His foot was on the line. A two pointer. Reeves by Bro, the this man contract Austin Reeves right now. He is not scared of these damn moments, bro. He's not scared. He's not scared. He's been there. An undrafted player. Good foul. We foul a bad free throw shooter, but shout out Gordon. He made one. Yeah, that's a foul. AD actually made both free throws. I was extremely grateful right there. LeBron. Oh, yeah. They, 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 I forgot. They, they called a uh, foul on Gordon because he was wrapping AD up. Called on Aaron Gordon. On the roll against Davis. AD ties it up, bro. Davis, four in a row. We're tied with just over a minute remaining. On the inbound, Jokic drives and puts it up. On the roll against Davis. Two clutch free throws there from Davis. Four in a row. We're tied with just over. Bro, how is he getting by this? He just over pat. AD, you gotta hit the weight room in the offseason. Nah, it's not even AD. We need to put him back to power forward. Anthony Davis plays like a damn point guard or a shooting guard. Might as well move him back to the four. That's how we won our championship. We had Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee. 
We need to get a, a center in the damn offseason because Anthony Davis is not strong enough for this. I want a big body center like Steven Adams. Oh, here it is. You guys already saw the clip at the beginning. That was my reaction live to this. James on the drive, goes inside, stop, shot, lock, gets it. Hmm. A lot of people were saying Anthony Davis is open. He is. LeBron prides himself in his co whole career. I make the I make the right play, the right basketball play, but this is the right basketball play right here. He's wide open. He can't really see him. He's getting trapped. He's trying to overpower him, bro. He somehow got, How did he even get this shot? Oh, he literally tucked it. People just How did he even get the ball up to this point? Shout out the Nuggets, man. They make the finals. I could start uh, being a normal fan now. Stop cheering for some teams. Because that's how you guys like it, right? You guys hate that there's a such thing as fans and sports, and you, you get mad that I cheer for the Lakers and want them to come back in a series. That's crazy, right? Don't even make sense, bro. I understand toxic Lakers fans on Twitter because I hate them too. Ruin it for all Lakers fans, but come on, bro. LeBron had 40 damn points. Come on now. 10 rebounds, 9 assists. He played amazing. There's nothing you can say about LeBron James. One turnover in 48 minutes. He played the whole damn game and had one turnover. He literally played the best he possibly could. And Anthony Davis played absolutely horrible. 6 for 15. 14 rebounds, 3 blocks, though. He did it defensively. 21 points. But, bro, he was missing so many damn layups. Rui, 3 for 12. Damn. Not going to lie, Rui. Not looking good for you. Maybe we might not come back to an off. I'm just playing. He's a very good player. So much stuff could go on in the offseason. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, 13 points, 5 for 13. D'Angelo Russell had 4 in only 15 minutes. He had a plus 6 this game. Like, D'Lo honestly should have finished this game, in my opinion. Austin Reeves just doing Austin Reeves things. 17 points a game, bro. He's just built like that. Tristan Thompson, one of the best players for the Lakers this game. I know the stat sheet don't show it. A six-man, a seven-man rotation for the damn Nuggets is crazy. Gordon, nine for 14. This is his best game of the series. 22, six, and five. Shout out Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, uh, two blocks. 15 for Michael Porter. He struggled. This was his worst game of the series. And same with Caldwell Pope, four for 10. This is probably his worst game of the series. Jamal Murray, 25 points. Jokic, 30, 14, and 13. Three blocks. This is ridiculous at this point. Bruce Brown, six points. Got a couple videos for us to watch. Uh, first off, we'll watch the celebration right now because I, I was so mad I literally turned the TV off. I didn't watch it. Not going to lie. Wow. They really got our announcer doing it. They really got our PA announcer. And this, this is the sad part for people who don't know. This is literally his last season. He's retiring after the season. And now he's got to go out talking about the Lakers got beat by the Nuggets. He's got to announce it. That's, that's messed up, man. This is literally messed up. For the presentation of the 2023 Oscar Robertson NBA Western Conference Championship Trophy and the Magic Johnson Western Conference Finals Most Valuable Player Award, please welcome ESPN's oh, what the hell? Lisa Salter. Joe, thank you very much. The Western Conference Trophy is named after one of the greatest players of all time, the big O, Oscar Robertson. Here to accept the Oscar Robertson Western Conference Champions Trophy on behalf of the Denver Nuggets, head coach Michael Malone. They got a good squad, man. They got a really good squad. Coach, you said before this game that closeouts are the hardest. What was the key to getting this done? Every is crazy because every single game was tough, bro. Literally lost by less than 10 every game. We could have won every single game, to be honest. This is, it doesn't feel like a sweep. It really doesn't. Uh, they Lakers should have won every game. We had a 10-point lead in the tonight. last three games, bro. Special group, and have you heard all series Crazy. Long, Lisa. We're not satisfied. We got four more to go, but love this group. Let's go, Nugget Nation. Coach, you've also said all series long that you didn't look I swear, no. Are there any real Nuggets fans? Let me know down below in the comments. I respect you guys so much. And I'm not talking about people cheering for the Nuggets because they hate the Lakers. Part about this journey. 
I, I think for me, the most satisfying part about the journey is who I'm on the journey with. I have a tremendous coaching staff. I have a tremendous front office, great ownership, and the 17 players behind me who came to work every Nicole day. Nicole Jokic, second round pick, bro. Eagles at the door for something and they gave him Carmelo themselves. Anthony's number, which we is crazy. Players, By the way, Melo retired team. today. We have a lot of character on this team, and I love each and every one of it's our crazy, players. crazy, bro. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Lisa. They gave a second round pick. Carmelo Anthony's number. And then that second round pick turned into be, to be literally one of the greatest players in the league. After one of the greatest guards in NBA history, Irvin Magic Johnson. The 2023 Irvin Magic Johnson Western Conference Finals Most Valuable Player Award goes to Nikola Jokic. That's the real MVP that you really should be carrying. Now, it's not the big one, but this is the MVP. That just pissed me off, bro. TB, I loved you on our team, bro. You were one of my favorite players on the Lakers. But to see you like this, I don't know how I feel. You're a traitor. Simple as that. You ran from the grind. You requested a trade when you wouldn't even in a position to request a trade. And we didn't get anything back in that trade. Got like a second round pick in Davon Reed, bro. Come on, man. Man, Thomas Bryant celebrating like he did something. Talking about, I want a bigger role and don't even play damn minutes on Denver. Acting like he did something. I like TB, though. I can't hate on him. And DeAndre Jordan, uh, Jordan, the former Laker. Nicola, and Cal Caldwell Pope. You could care less Gotta about love him, what man. anybody else says. Love all my former team, Lakers, man. About getting any attention. And I really I like Michael Porter Jr. It's just, speaks for itself. What does it I like him as a player. Jamal Murray. For me to be honest, I like playoff I Murray. To to I wasn't the biggest Jokic coaches, fan just because for some reason, I don't know why. But he's it's, such a hoop, bro. I'm just, I'm just, so uh, smart. Among the equals and, uh, I respect his I'm game so much, bro. Getting wins and getting to make something. I think I don't like Jokic just because his fans hated him beat. Stupid. Stupid. That's how NBA fans are nowadays, bro. To your fans back home Stupid, in the city of Denver. I mean, uh, probably to say hello to my parents, my dad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a collective effort for real. It's from from the Sparky Gino, who is our fitness manager, to a family Cronky. I think the, it's a one collective effort that we are growing as a, as a as a team, as a franchise. I think it's a really nice to be a Nuggets fan. Thank you, Nicole, and congratulations. Where's Jamal? I mean, Jamal's a he's a hooper, bro. Jamal, a year ago, you were still rehabbing your way back from an ACL tear. And now here you are, headed to the finals. Just, what does that mean to you? Damn! 32 and a half points on 52% shooting. Six rebounds as a guard, 40% from three. Woo! You had a great series, bro. So to make it this far with everybody just means a lot. But I know that the job is not done yet. For sure. What have you, Nicola, what have you guys all said to each other about what it's going to take to get you to where you ultimately want to be? It's going to take us to be together. I think that's the main thing. Uh, we can do anything together. As soon as we start to separate, that's when we struggle. So once we do that, through the ups and downs, we'll be fine. Thanks, Jamal. Thank you. All right, we'll see. Congratulations. We're going to be in the finals. To the 2023 Western Conference We'll see if the, uh, the Heat Denver make it soon. I hope so. Crazy, the finals don't start to damn June 1st, bro. That's why these sweep hurts, or these sweeps suck so bad just for the NBA because we don't get basketball for a while. But we're going to listen to LeBron James talk after game four. I kind of heard the rumors talk about retiring or some crazy some. I don't know. We'll see the whole interview. 13 minutes, I might watch it, might not. It, I mean, you could you could watch it with me LeBron, if you want. There are a few times in playoffs I'm going to watch this regardless, so might as well just post series it. against Boston like three times in 12 and then a couple others. I just wonder, was, was that something that you had decided before the game and did, you know, being on the court that much, trying to find your legs that much, did that symbolize anything just about what this run has been like for you? No, I mean, for me, it's just, you know, just a mindset, you know, and training the mind, you know, to train the mind, the body, the, Forward, 20 you know, years in the NBA, he's still you know, playing all 48 minutes. 
when Anthony Davis not doing it, nobody else on the Lakers doing it. Some of these 23 year olds can't even do that. He's 38. You know, wasn't able to come through. As a former LeBron hater, bro, this is respect to this man, bro. Crazy. Um, throughout the year, we've talked a bunch of times just about how long this. When I was a kid, I was a LeBron hater. I'm not gonna lie. I hated LeBron James just because I was Kobe fan. You know how fans beef when you're young. That's why you get into it. That's why uh, Curry fans and like Trey Young fans or Curry fans and Bronze fans beef now, like the younger fans, just because that's just what you do when you're younger. So from the moment that I was out, I used to do that too. And then I just you know the, the type of team love every player in the league. Type of energy that we to be honest, I love every player in the league. Respect every single one. Uh, you know, and I just uh, couldn't wait to to join these guys where with action and get on the floor and you know, and I knew how much I could make an impact uh, with the group of guys, uh, but it was always. Um, it was an exciting uh, moment when we was able just to bring uh, um, those guys into the locker room, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, we were uh, just a better team right away. And uh, it resulted in us getting to the West Conference Finals. Yep. Dave. Started 2-10. and ten. About, People talking uh, crazy about Darvin Ham. Uh, needs to be fired, bro. This, this group got 0.3% chance of making still, the playoffs, and we went to the Western Conference you know, Finals. This is a good go. season, bro. Uh, how do you view moving on to next year, year 21 with the Lakers, and, and do you view contender status now, or there's upgrades to be made? Um, I haven't even thought about next year. To be honest, I know it's coming next, kind of. I haven't really seen the full clip, but bro, that is true. The Literally, the, you just lost in a crazy game. He played every single minute. So much emotions running high. You're talking about, what does this team need next year? Damn, let him breathe. Give him, like, a vacation first. Like, damn. So, you, you got to know, based on that question right here, he's going to be high in emotion on his response. He might not mean every word. I don't know. If I could stick to this year, then. Um, it's, it was a four-game series. Every game had winnable moments, yeah. and, and you guys certainly showed it. Um, when you reflect on it, what were the... The margins, the edges that, that Denver ultimately... Um, he did not like hearing that. ...had winnable moments, yeah. and, and you guys certainly showed it. E. When he said winnable moments, he said, mm, you know this is eating inside of LeBron James. You think he's retiring after this? Come on, bro. He ain't retiring after this. Give him a little bit. Emotions are running high. He's coming back for revenge, man. He ain't going out like um, this. When you reflect on it, what were the unless he the wants margins, to go play with Bronny, that, don't want to play for the Lakers no uh, more. Um, successful with? Uh, it's just a, they, I think uh, me and AD were just talking in the locker room uh, for a little bit. I think we came to the consensus that um, you know, if not one of the best, probably the best team that we've played since when we've been together for our four years. Trying to think of another team, but honestly, he's probably right, bro. Well, put together, um, they have scoring. They have shooting, they have playmaking. Grizzlies, have Warriors, stars, Blazers, length, Rockets, um, the old Nuggets, and, uh, one thing about their team, the Suns. Like, Joker, like, this is probably the best team. As big as he is, but also just as all as around best is, team. Can't really make many mistakes um, versus, versus a guy like that. Um, and even when you guard him for one of the best possessions that you think you've guarded him, he puts the ball behind his head, Larry Bird style. And shoots at 50 feet in the air. And goes in. <laughs> think, think he did it like four or five times this series. He did, bro. That's, that's crazy so, to me, bro. Did like this to him. <laughs> uh, there he is. Uh, Le LeBron, how, how do you, on an individual level, reflect on your season? You're 38. You're 20. Uh, you know, a lot. I really don't. I never. I, it's not who I am. Um, I guess I reflect on my career when I'm when I'm done. Um, but I, I don't know. Uh, I'll let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing that I only concern myself with is being available to my teammates, and I don't like the fact that I didn't play as many games as I would like because of injury. That's the only thing I care about is being available to my teammates. Jim. LeBron, is there a sense of frustration because of what happened throughout the course of this particular series? I mean, of course, that's human nature when you're a competitor. Obviously frustrated, not being able to, um, you know, close out one of these games where you were in every game. Um, you know, two games in Denver, two games here. We were in every game. We were winning 
you know, about 15 and a half, and you know, they, they hit us with a 36 point quarter. You know, took momentum of the game. We still have 36 point quarter is crazy, um, bro. 15 point lead so, at halftime, um, that's, bro. That's the frustrating part, but um, yeah, 31 and a half, you know, man. You, you tip your hat to them. Um, Every game, like the last couple ten. games, we were up by 10, 11. Just, they just come back. Another missed opportunity, but also look at this roster that's kind of reloaded and has potential for uh, even greater things next year, potentially, potentially a championship He hates roster. these questions, bro. How do you balance the disappointment, but also the hope for next year? Um, I mean, I don't know. Um, like I said, I haven't begun to to even think about next year. Um, we had a great run, but, you know, we fell short of our goal. And our goal is to win championships. That's what this franchise is about, and we fell short of that. So, yeah. Uh, that's disappointing. Yeah, it's true. Malika, LeBron, I, I'm curious if you could walk us through the day starts with Carmelo Anthony, someone who you were, are very close with in, in your contemporary announcing his retirement and then you getting ready to play in a Western Conference Finals game as sort of the, the last man Against his former team. From that class. Against that Melo's like former team. Um, who Colby played in the Conference well, Finals. I knew the, the announcement was going to happen because um, I shot the video a week ago. He's <laughs> <laughs> really proud. I've seen today. So um, people probably think I'm lying about that too, huh? Um, I shot that video like a week ago, so I already knew the announcement was coming. Just didn't know which day, but it happened today. And uh, but it's still bittersweet, obviously. Um, that's and how the friends, NBA um, did Melo at the end of his know, career is just so league, messed up, bro. I mean, like he deserved to be on the team. He, that man is a bucket school, getter. Come on now. Against each other to um, that jab step, you know, uh, jab step pump fake, a hey, jab jab you know, pull it. One dribble home, mid range pull up. Come you know, on, bro. Yeah, Put some respect on Carmelo's name. Steps of a hotel. And just talking about our journey up until where we were 17. I was 16. He was 17. And what we could possibly do um, going forward, what we could possibly do for our mothers, what we could possibly do for our families if we just That's continue dope, to man. stay focused. That's dope. Uh, I respect so much, bro. We, just, we was a driving force. People for just need to get out that hating, negative mindset that Twitter puts guys fans in, and really just say. appreciate these dudes and, uh, are humans and the sacrifices and all, like the hard work they put in, bro. For every single one, even if you're not a superstar like LeBron, um, you know. So I will play our games, I just don't get why negativity you know, sells you know, in today's home, world. I really don't uh, get it, bro. Rush home downtown Cleveland, where I had like an, had an apartment my first two years in the in the league, and man, I had an apartment. Games on. You know, and, and watch Melo play. Hey. Um, all the way to the point where we didn't make the playoffs my first year. I ended, I was in Denver for his first playoff game. That's fine, bro. Um, you can look that up, too, just in case you think I'm lying about that, too. Um, so, um, definitely just a bittersweet moment today to, to see uh, one of my great friends. Um, I'll never like to say call it quits. I mean, just to say that, you know, it's an amazing run, an amazing accomplishment, um, an amazing career. And um, we're talking a little bit too much about you know, retirements for my liking, bro. Like I don't know how I feel about bro, this. What, if anything, did Joker prove to you during the series? Say again? What, if anything, did Joker prove to you during the series? Nothing. I know how great he is. I know how great Joker is. Certain guys in this league that play the game a certain way, um, a certain way that I like to play the game as well. Mm -hmm. And he's one of them. Game manager. Where you are always off balance when you go into a player like that because his ability to score, rebound, shoot. Um, Read the defense. Before they happen. Yes. The um, man is a magician it's not many with his mind, like bro. That. Smart. Um, so he can read defenses. He knows what to do. He knows adjustments on the fly, you know, on the court, to, uh, calm and collected. That? And then the he can hit stuff. unguardable and shots, bro. Just about his game. Everybody gets cracked up into his his stats. stats. But I don't think a lot of people talk about like this part of his game. Yeah, facts. Well, maybe it's not talked about because a lot of people don't understand it. Facts. Uh, <laughs> talk to him, bro. <laughs> Last three. We'll end with Chris, Tanya, and then we'll end with Melissa. 
Chris Haynes, TNT, Brian. <laughs> Man, Bron got hella excited. With this roster going into next year, as far as being able to say that you believe you guys will be back and not just be back, go further. Well, I mean, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I'm not quite sure what the roster will look like next yeah, year. I think, I think myself, AD, Vando, um, Max Christie, Vando. I think Vando has a. That's it. Team option or player yes. option, something like that. Yes. That's it. Everybody else not on contract. I don't know who else. I don't. That's literally it. Nobody. I mean, the roster's not set. No. You know, obviously that's that's Rob in the front office. They're gonna figure out the best way to put this team together. Yeah. Go forward in the fall, but um, it's not like we have a team full of multi-year guys that's stuck in the contract right now. So I, I don't. See. Tanya. There didn't say nothing crazy. A, a video making the rounds of you shooting early, before the game, a while before the game, um, and they were doing a rehearsal for the trophy presentation on the court. Did that? <laughs> did that motivate you at all, or annoy you, or did you have any reaction uh, to that? It was a little motivating factor for me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Evil ass <laughs> smile. <laughs> Obviously, all-time scoring record. Another season where you essentially defeat Father Time again on a personal level. How would you evaluate the season that you had? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I, mean, I love to play the game. Um, I love to compete. I love to be out there for my guys, my teammates, wherever I have that, that particular year. Um, I think it was special in the, in the fact that having a first-year coach and a first-year coaching staff to be able to take, yes, know, take them to the Western Conference Finals. I think that's dope for Coach Ham and his. Thanks, staff and people forward. talking about fire him, um, bro. It's like amazing. it's the most um, casual thing you could say. He's a rookie coach makes the yeah, Conference sure, Finals yeah, just, after starting horrible, bro. You know, Dealing with horrible, that adversity. And, um, Had a horrible roster to start the season. Things of that nature. Come on, man. Um, being present on the floor, being present, you know, locker room and. You know, bus rides and plane rides, things of that nature. Um, it's challenging. It's challenging, you know, for sure. It was a very challenging season, um, you know, for me, um, you know, for our, for our ball club. And obviously, you know, we know what went on early on and whatever the case may be. But um, it, was a, it was a pretty cool, pretty cool ride. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know I think it was okay. I don't. I don't like to say it's a successful year because I don't play for anything besides winning championships at this yeah. point in my career. And, I like to um, hear that from him because for a second I thought he was just I content getting that record, bro. I don't, I don't get a kick out of making a conference appearance. I've done it a lot. Yeah, and, talk to him. It's <laughs> fun for me to not be able to be, able yeah. to be a part of, uh, you know, getting to the finals. But, um, uh. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens going forward. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. And um, just for me personally, going going forward with the game of basketball, I got a lot to think about. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Hope you guys enjoy. This is Ite. Peace.